last time from the Cowboy Way, Alabama. Da, 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 da. We're gonna put the bigger end on the truck, turn the little end back out. All right. The guys at Faith Cattle Company got paid. Payday. Yeah, go now. And almost lost an expensive cow along the way. Bubba and Kaylee were building the pieces of their future home. I think we're good. While trying to plan their upcoming wedding. I was thinking we could do a buffet. A buffet line? Yeah. At the wedding? You're a diva. No, sweetie, I don't believe so. Cody missed his prize rodeo horse. Ricky Jack was my horse for the last seven years. There's always that one horse that has something special. So the guys surprised him. We ought to find that joker another horse. Yeah. With a new colt. Oh, shucks. I knew them two had done it. I sure do appreciate it. Booger got an opportunity of a lifetime. I got a job offer. That'll, that'll take me away from home. But after searching for guidance. What I wouldn't give just to sit at that dinner table with you, talk to you about it. Decided to stay put. Since then, a lot's happened. And now, on this episode of the Cowboy Way, Alabama. How's it going? Hey, babe. Got you a drink. Thank you. Bubba and Kaylee got married. Bubba, when's the baby do? Well, we got a few months left. And this cowboy's got a baby on the way. You know how to put that on, right? It ain't hard, sir. Pick him two <laughs> feet up, slide it up underneath there, and boom, boom. We go into diaper class, it's fine. Diaper class. Cody hung up his roping spurs for good. He don't rope no more. He wants to be Mr. Retirement. Oh, hey, here we go. Here we go. But couldn't keep away from the rodeo life. So this is my next step, putting on rodeos. All right, boss, what you thinking? Now he's running the show. I got a lot riding on this. So it's got to go smooth. <laughs> the wildest horse in the county is brought to Booger, the horse whisperer. I'm like, whoa, this maybe can throw down. Can he tame it in time to save it? Billy, you're my last hope. I'm even considering having her put down. Really? Mm-hmm. And a wild bull threatens the faith cattle herd. Come on, Bubba, let's move. That joker trying to breed cows while we're working. He's got to go. This would be a business disaster to us if these cows were to get bred by this bull. So the cowboys put themselves in harm's way. Whoa! Hey, Bubba! Just leave him alone. Leave him alone, go! To get him out, save the herd. All right, boys, this is it. I'm out here riding through the cattle, checking on the baby calves, and next thing you know, I look out, and there's a bull out there chasing our cattle. I called the guys up and told them, look, this bull's got to go. I told them to get there and get there fast. Get around. Where's that bull at? Right we're driving in the middle. middle. Maybe we keep driving and we'll just drive them all to the pins. Gotcha. There he is right here trying to breed a cow. This would be a business disaster to us if these cows were to get bred by this bull. First of all, he's not a very good bull. He's not something we want to cross good cows with. He's got to get out of here. Yeah, he does. Here he is right there. Also, we have a calving season. We have a very strict calving season. We like to have all of our cows calving close to the same time so we can sell truckloads instead of singles at a stockyard where you have to pay commission, you have to pay yardage, insurance fees. It's not gonna hurt us today, but nine months from now, we'll know it. Get ahead. I Watch see him right there. We gotta get him out of there. Come on, Bubba, let's move him. That joker's trying to breed cows while we're working. He's got to go. It doesn't take long for one to breed. It could take seconds. Hey, where'd this bull come from anyhow? He tore in from the neighbors, I guess. I guess he's been here a day or two. I don't know. I seen him this morning when I was docking calves. And this bull, all you got to do is take one good look at this thing and tell he don't need to be in our cattle. He is horrible looking. His head's bigger than his rear end. Ain't nobody want none of them pups. Johnny! Woo! In a situation like this, we've just got to get into the herd and get that bull away from them cows. Got it, bull. Hey, bull. Got it, bull. Hey, bull. And as soon as we get him away from them cows, then that gives us a chance to rope him and, and get him caught. Booger, he's been a breed one, man. We got to get him out. It's very hard getting a bull out of a herd of cows. First of all, he's probably been pinned up for the last few months with no cows, and he's very lonely. And he wants to be with some beautiful women, and we've got to get him out. Watch that bull. Booger, get around him. Get around him. Watch him. Watch him. Watch that bull. There's two places we don't want this bull. Bugger's coming up the dam. 
And that's in the woods, in the pond, and he went to both of them. There he is, boys. Get him. He's headed to the pond. There he goes. He wasn't the worst bull I've ever had, but he dang sure wasn't the easiest. What are we doing? How y'all expect we get him out? The bull can sit out there and swim and swim and swim. I mean, you're swear they're going to drown. But no, they, well, I ain't never seen one drown. And you can't get out there without swimming to get him. Hey! The dog will get him. A good cow dog is worth four good cowboys. I, I don't imagine driving cattle without them. They, they are just amazing. Hey, when he comes out, guys, let him wear it. Don't let him hit them woods. Catching a bull out in the pasture, it's dangerous. Anything can happen. We're talking about a 17 to 1800 pound bull. Hey, bull, hey, bull, hey, bull. Bull could run you over, jerk your horse down, your horse could slip, break a leg, your horse could break his leg, you could break your leg. Ah. Whoa! Hey, bull! All right, leave him alone. Leave him alone, All of a sudden, the bull just turned and he come right at my horse and Rico did not want any part of that and it scared him. And I come off the side. I wasn't ready for it. I should have been ready for it, but I wasn't ready for it. That's just one of those things that you can't control in the pasture. What'd he do, spook off that bull? I reckon, man. I reckon he ain't never done that before. He's probably scared that bull's gonna broadside him. Oh, Rico, he's kind of a spooky horse anyways and that bull come charging at him, he just kind of <laughs> Old Bubba went off. <laughs> Ah, oh, shoot. Not dang, Bubba. You lame? I'm good, man. You sure? Yeah, I'm good. Nothing ever goes easy around here. Mm. A bull has a mind of his own. He's going to do what he wants to do, whether you want him to do it or not. All right, boys, this is it. It's important to somebody rope the bull's head and somebody rope his feet. That way we can get him down. The only way you're going to get a bull down is to snatch his legs out from under him. Toss one on Harris. There you I go. Mean, all he's got to do is step. There you go. Hey, boo. There you go. That little snack him down. You want him down? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. You hold him right here. You got him? Right up, right up, right up. He's all right. Roping the bull is the easy part. Now you got to handle this bull. Hey, Bubba, go get the truck. Somehow you got to get him loaded on a trailer and out of there. Just back right up to his head. All right, that's good. He's not just gonna follow behind a sack of feed right on the trailer, you know. Come on. Get on up there. Ready, Pull it, go. boys. All right, now. Ah. Don't Ready, waste it, He don't want to go on the trailer. I don't blame him. He's got 40 beautiful women back there. He don't want to leave. Hey, I'm all. Damn, broke, broke. Get the gates, Bubba, get the gates. Oh, we got to go. Come on. Woo! That's what I'm talking about, boys. Hot day. Oh, let me sit down here, man. Well, that's one last thing we got to worry about. Cow breeding joker, I bet he'd get more calves than a buck deer. He don't want no more of us, I can promise you. I don't want no more of that ground, I can tell you that. Oh, man. I was wondering what you're doing. We're going to eat dinner here in a little bit, and you're out here trying to eat dirt. We sincerely thought you were praying for a minute. I figured you seen Harris trying to rope, and you said you'd get off and pray about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, he don't dang him. He don't rope no more. He wants to be Mr. Retirement. Oh, you know, he's probably hey, needed to pray go. about. Here we go. You putting on rodeos now, you won't even rope at them. If you go in there, you might as well take your horse and compete. You can't have your cake and eat it, too. Competing in rodeos, I I'm done with that. And now this is my next step. What about that rodeo? Putting on rodeos. This weekend. Oh, is it? Yes, sir. You need us to give you a hand, bud? Man, I really do. OK. I don't ask for much help, but if y'all, I really could use it. No, nah, we help you anywhere we can. Well, you know yeah, that. Man. You know that, but I, mean, I, I, I got a lot riding on this one. So it's got to go smooth. It's, it's just, I mean, this is a huge financial blessing for my wife and I, this rodeo. The Greater Gulf State Fair Rodeo is so important to me because it's one of the biggest rodeos in the Southeast. And we have invited a bunch of other committees from around here, you know, to come watch this rodeo. So if this rodeo, if we can pull this off, if it goes good, that's clients for the future. Bubba, when's the baby do? Well, we got a few months left. So I've got a honeydew list that long still. After a long engagement, I got to marry my best friend, and life has been great ever since. 
and we are going to have a child, which I'm very excited about, and so is she. And my honeydew list got a lot longer. And when you reckon you you might have one, shoot. What happened to your last girlfriend? Uh, she was a good old gal. She just couldn't understand the cowboy way of life. You leave for daylight and come home a couple hours after dark, and have to put all your gear up and feed your dogs and horses and stuff. She just couldn't handle it. Yeah, not for everybody. It's not for the faint of heart. I'm sure. I have been in love before, but I guess the Lord had a different plan for me, and it just didn't work out. And... But I wouldn't mind being there again. We need to get this bull turned out wherever he needs to go, and I need to get over there and get to work on that honeydew list. Y'all keep y'all cellular devices on you. I'm gonna call y'all with another to-do list. You call me. The we need to help pick you up or something. I don't need your <laughs> dad <dadgum> help, son. <laughs> what you talking about? All right. Glad that's over with. <sighs> Broke my dang $60 rope. I believe if something happened, he got back in here, I believe I'd cry. <laughs> Hey, babe. Hey. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Well, that explains why I just passed the delivery man, huh? I know. Mm. How's your day? Good, I'm just unpacking diapers. Well, I see that. We need all we can get, huh? Yeah. Oh, look how cute those are. I know, they're with all the newborn ones. Oh my. They even smell like a baby smell. Oh man. I know. <laughs> I want our whole house to smell mm -hmm. like that. Well, I'm sure it will before long. I know. You know how to put that on, right? Oh, I mean, it ain't hard, You're gonna be man. changing a lot of them. It ain't hard. You just open her up like that. Pick them two <laughs> feet up, slide it up underneath there, and boom, boom, done deal. I don't think it's that easy. It's easy. We go into diaper class, it's fine. Diaper class? Yes. For what, for who? For the baby. <laughs> diaper class? Cowboys do not go to diaper class. <clears throat> I already talked to an instructor. Well, that's good, baby. I'm sure y'all two will get along good. We'll think about it. Yeah, well, you can think about it. <laughs> Is there uh, anything else I can help you with besides the diaper class situation? You can help me look at cribs. All right. I know Kaylee's gonna be a good mother. She's a heck of a wife and an even better best friend. And I thank the good Lord above for sending Kaylee to me. How long is this gonna take? Well, I don't know. You can't rush the process. I'm pulling up multiple options. Multiple? Yes. My main thing is I want it safe. I want it to match the nursery. <laughs> and that's really about it. What about one like this? I don't like all that. There, there's nothing in this house that's, that's got a curve to it. Let's go straight. <laughs> OK. That's pretty. Did you see the price of that? Oh, I didn't think that was bad. I don't like that color. Of course you don't. I like that price, though. Of course you do. Go scroll down. What's that one look like? I like that one. I don't like that one. I want my baby girl to sleep in a crib that her daddy made with his own two hands. It's gotta be perfect. This is our first baby. Baby, it ain't gonna be perfect unless I build it. You're gonna build a crib? You I know, built the like... house, I can build a crib. <laughs> I know you built the house. I don't think you can build a crib quick enough. We don't have time to waste. I can build that crib before it gets shipped here. I can have this crib here tomorrow. I'll tell you what, I'll make that crib and have it done before yours gets delivered. And if so, I'm not going to that diaper class. Because me and the guys, we're, we're supposed to play poker tomorrow night anyhow. Huh. Bubba is the worst procrastinator ever. So the fact that he actually thinks he can get a crib done in less than 24 hours is hilarious to me. You have a crib built by tomorrow before my class starts, I'll send mine back. And you don't have to go to the diaper class. Baby, you just lost that bet. You want to call your mom and see if she wants to ride with you? No. It'll take a miracle to get that crib done. There's no way Bubba's going to pull it off. It's purchased. It's a done deal, honey. It's on its way. I better get moving then. I got to go. I'll be waiting here to win my bet. Don't worry. You won't be winning that bet. I promise you. All right. <laughs> I'm on a time crunch here. I've got to get this crib finished. You'll be a laughing stock of the ranch. I see the delivery guy pull up. My crib is here. Looks like somebody's going to diaper class. Uh, 
right, boss, what you thinking? I'll we'll start at 7.30 on the dot. 7.30 on the dot. You know, it wasn't easy to adapt to go from competing to the other side, like there's there's way more work behind the scenes to a rodeo. Um, Prairie National Anthem. Okay. Grand entry. Okay. Bareback saddle bronc. Need a little walk and talk. Okay. Ride to the bareback saddle bronc. Calf open bulldogging. I don't know when I want my act yet, but I want two good acts. Right. Somewhere in there. It's like running a campaign, if you think about it. I mean, it's like putting on a concert. I, I'm gonna trust you to know which one you want to do first got it. or second. I've actually got a couple gray hairs at 27 years old from putting on rodeos. How many you got me? I got about 15, just like you said. They've been asking me for two hours for That's them. That's great. Y'all save me. Thank y'all. Okay, and I may, I may need to call y'all, so keep your phone by. I may need some extension cords. Okay, okay definitely. definitely. Just find out. You know what I mean? Like, don't go too far. But we couldn't find you. Where'd I'm you stressing. go? I'm, I'm stressing. If stuff doesn't go right, if stuff's not done, pop, 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 pop. Your committee isn't happy there until they hire somebody else to do the rodeo the next year. No time to talk. No time to talk. A whole lot hadn't changed for me personally like it has for Cody and Bubba. One thing that has changed, and it breaks my heart to say it, is Grandma, she had to move out of her house. She just couldn't live by herself anymore. When I go in Grandma's house and see it empty, it makes me so sad, but at the same time, I know it's for the best. Everybody's really doing their part. My aunt, she's taking care of grandma, and I'm still running the family ranch, just like my granddaddy would want. I got you a new friend. Hello. I'm good, how are you? Right. How bad is she? This girl I know down the road, she's been having a lot of trouble with this horse, and I knew I'd heard about her getting hurt by this horse a ways back. Really? I don't know if she could even keep the horse in the rate they were going. I mean, this thing was about to kill her off way it sounds. Just bring her over tomorrow. We'll just evaluate her and kind of see what see what we got going on. All right, we'll see you then. Thanks, bye. Of course, I'm going to lend a helping hand out to anybody, especially my neighbors. All right, baby. Hold down the fort. You in charge. I'm on a time crunch here. If I don't get this crib finished in 24 hours, that means I don't get to go to the poker night. So Bubba built the house that we live in together, and I love that, I respect that, I love that he can get in there and get things done with his hands. The difference is, is him actually getting it done will be the tricky part. <laughs> I'm extremely excited, and I cannot wait to hold my baby girl. She already has me wrapped around her finger, and she's not even here yet. We've talked about a name, and I said I'd like to name her Andy. And from the get-go, she liked that name, so that's her name, Andy Faith Thompson. Andy's, for a girl, is uh, it's still feminine, but at the same time, it's tough. And uh, of course, she's going to grow up and be a little cowgirl, so. It's gonna be a real late night tonight. After I get all these pieces cut, I've gotta get them sanded down, I've gotta get them stained, I've gotta let them dry. That's gonna take some time. Battery's running dead. This job's taking too long. My battery just died on me. And the drill bits that I have are dull. So I've gotta waste a little bit of time looking for another drill bit. If I have to work all night to finish this crib before the delivery man gets here, I will. I really don't want to get rid of her. Yeah. I want to keep her. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. Give me a couple days and I'll see what she's got going on. And I'm sure we can do something. It's right there where we took our engagement pictures. Oh, look at you getting brownie points for remembering something. God, it's so beautiful. Mm-hmm, I love oaks. Looks like our front yard. There has been a lot of changes. We've tripled our cows, 
trying to buy more land, getting ready to build a house, and we have a baby on the way. Do you remember our first kiss? Mm-hmm. Grab my hat like this. I leaned in. Mm, I love you. I love you. We still kiss the same. I was very nervous marrying a cowboy. They just do not have the best reputation when it comes to being at home. I mean, they're always gone and stuff like that. And it's hard to create that family life. But Cody's the love of my life for sure, and I feel so blessed to have married him. So you got everything ready? What? The rodeo. <laughs> I think so. The committee said each event better have a full, you know, lit. Yeah, but you can't blame them for that. They want yeah. a good show for their spectators. You know, I, I don't like to use the word, it, it's all on the line, but it really is all on the line right now. Because if this doesn't go good, I could possibly lose this rodeo and future rodeos, and I'd have to find something else to do. You get a lot of entries at your deals, so you'll be okay. People like me. That's why you married me. <sighs> we just gotta put on a good show. I mean, I'm the new kid on the block in this game, so this has got to go smoothly for, the, for, for our future. What's going on? How are you? All right, how are you? Jamie, she's a sweet girl, good friend of mine, lives down the road. So I brought you my girl, the one I told you about. Grace, is this the beast? This is her. I've been training horses my whole life. Let's see this thing. <laughs> this horse has been giving her trouble. I think she's done hurt her a couple times. She figured I could help her. So I told her just to bring it on over. We'll see what we can get done. I love this mare. I've had her for about three years. But lately, she's gotten to a point where every time I get on her, she's wanting to throw me off. She threw me a couple weeks ago, hurt my shoulder. She can throw down, huh? Yes, she can. Hmm. It's a danger for me. It's a danger for my family. Really, you're my last hope. I'm even considering having her put down. Really? Mm -hmm. That's the last thing we want to do is put a good horse down. She stands there nice. I see this horse a big, beautiful gray mare. Back off here, girl. When I'm getting this horse off the trailer, I'm like, what's wrong with her? She's good looking, her ground manners are perfect. I really don't want to get rid of her. Yeah. I want to keep her, I don't want anything bad to happen to her. Give me a couple days and let me check her out and ride her around a little bit and kind of see what she's got going on and I'm sure we can do something. What are we looking at as far as price? I don't know, we'll work it out. I'm not even gonna charge, Jamie. Anytime I can take a little bit of my time to brighten up somebody else's day, I'm gonna do it. I appreciate right. you helping us out so much, thank you. Go home you. and don't be so worried about it. All right, keep me updated. All right, we'll see you. See ya. We're gonna need a little bit of time to really address this thing. This thing liable to be a sleeper. Come alive at the last minute and that's where they really get you. I enjoy training horses. This is something I've loved and wanted to do ever since I was a little kid. I don't think I've always been doing it the right way, but I've always been training them. <laughs> Easy, girl. This horse here, I can automatically tell she likes to buck. It's supposed to be broke, just have a little attitude problem. Once we got her saddle and all and cinched her up and turned her loose. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, this maybe can throw down. I'm glad I ain't up on her back when all that went loose. Show me that gray mare. I want to see what she's got. If she bucks you off, you gotta wash my truck. If she don't buck you off, I'll wash your truck. That ain't a bad deal, I'll take that. I see the delivery guy pull up. My crib is here. I look out under the barn, Bubba's crib is not done at all. <laughs> so guess what, he's going to diaper class. Looks like somebody's going to diaper class. <laughs> Do what? My crib's here, and you're still putting your crib together. Well, I hate to break it to you, but I am still putting this crib together. It looks good, but it ain't finished. I go out there, tell Bubba, looks like diaper class, and he's just calm, cool, and collected. And I'm confused. I kind of figured you'd say that, so I went ahead and... What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I do have one finished. Bubba is pulling out a 100% finished crib, and I am mind blown. It looks great. I love it. You think it. this color's gonna go good in the house? Yeah. You did really good. Thank you, baby. I wanted to get this done, because I just, I, I felt more comfortable Andy sleeping in something 
that, you that made. I built. I love it. No diaper class for me. I can't, I can't believe you really did it. I got it done. Shouldn't have doubted me. Give me a kiss. I love you. <laughs> I am amazed. I never thought he could pull this off, but he won the bet. I guess we'll give that one to mom and dad. I mean, we already bought it. It's here, so might as well. No, because those are pieces to another crib that I'm going to build for your mom and dad. You're building one for them, too? Yes, ma'am. Golly. That's sweet. What, did you think I was just fooling you with all this other little pieces out here? Yeah. Bubba is a great man. He's rough around the edges. He's messy. He leaves stuff everywhere. He'll walk in the house with his dirty boots on. You know, he's a typical cowboy. But when it comes to the things that matters, he's everything I need. Thank you, baby. I love it. Sugar. I love you. Booger's been telling me about this horse that this lady yeah. wanted him to ride. He's telling me this horse is crazy. If Booger says it's crazy, it's crazy. When I step up on her, all I can think is put her around a little bit, don't ask a lot from her, ease her around, creep around, sneak you a little ride on her. Next thing you know, you got the mare, she starts relaxing, nothing drastic's happening on her back, she lines out, and then you got her ride. Yeah! What's the deal? Why is that woman so scared of that thing? You didn't see her when I first started. I had her in a round pen, and I mean, just yonk, yonk, yonk. I dang, she looks broke, dude. Well, maybe it's who's sitting on it, Harris. Yeah, I agree. Booger is one of the best horsemen I've ever known. He has a different approach than a lot of people, but he's very good with horses. I tell you what, if you can't get her broke, I'll buy her and use her this weekend at the rodeo. That sounded like a plan. <laughs> one of the best things you said all day. What about the rodeo? I'm excited this weekend, buddy. You ain't gonna compete in it? I'd like to, man. I just hadn't had time to practice. I mean, you know. You been roping any? Not much. I mean, just training some. I made a pretty good run the other day, and I started getting, yeah. getting that itch. Yeah. You know, it's just got me wanting to kind of break back out. Get after it. Huh? I know it. Oh, dang, it's hard to watch. Yeah, yeah. Up until recently, I haven't known nothing else. I woke up rodeo. I ate rodeo. I slept rodeo. I dreamed rodeo. That's what I did. Well, show me that gray mare. I want to see what she's got. I've heard all this. If you can prove to me today she's broke, we won't buck her at the rodeo. It ain't what she does do, it's what she doesn't do. So show me what she doesn't do. Come on, Gray! Woo! Yeah! I tell you what, if she bucks you off, you gotta watch my truck. If she don't buck you off, I'll watch your truck. Deal? That ain't a bad deal. I'll take that. Heck, you ain't got about half a truck. <laughs> Shoot, yeah, I'll take a good truck washing. Last time I washed my truck is, I think they washed it when I bought it a couple years ago. Come on, Gray, this is for car wash. Yo! I don't want him to get bucked off, but I think it'd be humorous if he did. Cody hops up there on the fence, starts running the gator, talking about he wants to bet me that I can't ride this horse. I know what I can do. Ha <laughs> ha! I knew I spoke too soon. Ain't no washing cars for me. Son of a gun. Hindsight's 2020. I wish I'd have never made the bet, but win some, you lose some. I remember that, Gray. Bet to bet, bud. You better go to the dollar store and get you some sponges. Shucks. See you, Harris. Oh, this is a great day. The guys are picking me up tonight for poker, and I cannot wait. Bubba! I'll get him. Bubba! I've got a hall pass. It's probably the last one I'm gonna get, and I'm ready to use it up. It's about Come time, on. ladies. What are you doing? I'm ready to go. Let's go. Come on. Did you get your permission go. slip signed? I got a hall pass, okay? Uh, you just worry about whooping and riding. And as long as it's signed. Yeah. We ain't going there and turn around coming right back. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> choo -choo! Poker night. You got a pocket full of money tonight? You bet I do. I hope, because I'm gonna take it. every bit of it. Poker night. Woo! Don't follow this old flatbed, baby. We headed to poker night. Yee I got a feeling y'all got something good in store for me tonight. We do, bud. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. Bubba's all excited. This is one of the last outings we're gonna have with him before he's a dad. I need it. I need. I need. A, I need a night out with my buddies. You know. Yeah. Yeah. We supposed to be going to the right house. 
No, nah, man, I'm going this way. I got it. You let us do the driving. You sit well, over fact, and think about There's some lease property we're going to look at on our way there. Some lease property to put some cattle on? Yes, sir. Well, I'm just going to swing by we there got real time. quick. We got time? Yeah, we yeah. got time. Yeah, we got plenty okay, of time. Okay, now. Oh, good old Bubba thinks he's going to poker night. But Kaylee gave us specific instructions to have him at diaper class. <sighs> My husband's coming, y'all. As soon as he gets here, we'll uh, start, I reckon. <laughs> he's late always. Where are we going right now? I told We're you. supposed to be heading south, and we're headed east. They're all the same direction. All the same direction? I give Mama Bear my word that I would have Bubba there without him knowing what was going on, so it's very important that I keep my promise. Well, let's, 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 get, let's go play some poker now. That's what I'm talking about, Bubba. Not enough of this. Let's go. He thinks he's going to poker night with his friends, and they're actually driving him here. So <laughs> he's liable to come in here like a mad bull, but we'll see. The most important thing is to be skin to skin with the baby right away after birth. Yes? Is skin to skin what got us here to start with? <laughs> Now, just pull up in here. This is nowhere near where we're supposed to be going right now. What, what in the world is going on? I need, I need to know something here. What do you mean? We're going to play poker. Come on. Come on, Bubba Bear. Come on. Let's do it. The moment we rounded the corner and I saw the hospital sign is, the, is when I realized that this was nothing but a prank. Come on. Kaylee Come on, I'll get the door. Kaylee paid us off. Oh, man. Golly. <laughs> <my>. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I'm being serious. <laughs> no way, no way. Come on, fellas. What in the world now? Do it, uh, baby. <laughs> this ain't no poker room. Uh huh. Come on, yeah. serious. Get in there, big boy. Is this y'all's idea of a good time? Um, hey, I saw hey, that. Hey, sure. Little change of personality. I'm here. <laughs> How are you doing? I know you're here. I planned all that. Yeah, I figured you did. <laughs> hey, I'm Bubba. Hello. We Hi. walked in there, and there sits Kaylee and the diaper instructor and a couple other couples. And believe me, when I saw them guys, they had the same thoughts I did. They did not want to be there, but I just had to grin and bear it. Let's do it. All right. When we talk about birth, some of the things that we can learn tonight, issues like diaper changing, dressing babies, those kinds of things. What's gonna happen after birth? Calming a crying baby, being safe, sudden infant death syndrome, genetic factors, washing their hair. Jaundice, which is something that's real common. The first pediatrician office visit, special lights, choking prevention, sponge bath, something called bilirubin. You know, I really didn't think about it much, how diaper class was gonna be. I thought it was a really good idea that I took Bubba there, because I kinda liked the sound of that. And then I didn't realize I was gonna have to sit through it myself. The most important thing is to be skin to skin with the baby right away after birth. The other thing that we've learned, yes? Is skin to skin what got us here to start with? <laughs> yes, sir, it is. I was about to ask that for the same thing. That is so good. You are so bright, you get an A in the class tonight. I've done my homework. You did do your homework. Let's talk about swaddling. When you put them to sleep, that's when the swaddling thing comes in. Kinda, but not really. Swaddling is more like calming them down when they're crying. I had a buddy that got bucked off his horse, and I wish I knew how to swaddle then. I could have swaddled him, you know what I mean? Booger is Booger. He's carrying on half the time. I think he's irritating the fire out of the instructor, because he's irritating the fire out of me. I was irritated with him and Cody the moment we pulled in the parking lot. That baby ain't even crying no more. You're a natural, Harris. There we go, there we go. <laughs> it's not a bag of feed, Cody. I have never in my life changed a diaper before. I feel like I change them daily with Booger, but I have never physically changed one. I'm very excited I'm at a diaper class because now I don't have to go again. You just put a little dab on your finger. My wife, that's brownie points. All the husbands in the world know you need brownie points. And then you wipe it in with this. Well, actually, that's not how you do it, but... <laughs> Is he doing that right? Nope. You didn't even don't, wipe don't her. Don't forget to wipe her. Uh, All you do is unfold that swaddling blanket. You're gonna do something with that one right. right <laughs> Throw that baby up in there. Well, we better start that over again. Yeah. I done screwed up. You done <laughs> messed up. Wrap her up like a little burrito, and we're good to go. Oh, gosh. This is a special knife. It's actually made for castrating bull calves, but you can use it for anything, even cutting off diapers. Hold still, you know? <laughs> I don't know. The little doll was looking at me the whole time, you know? A little creepy. I've never been a fan of dolls or, you know, they can hide in cupboards and pop out and scare you. I just, I don't like stuff like that. I don't like little creatures. All right, there. Your turn. Mine? Yours. Yeah. You might babysit yeah. for us one day. You need to get up here and give it a go. 
Baby, I wouldn't go that far. Booger's not babysitting my daughter. Absolutely not. <laughs> oh, good job. We got any gloves. We, we won't even have a discussion about that. <laughs> He's a keeper. <laughs> but I think you're the only woman that has ever, ever said, said that. that. <laughs> I can't even think about that. Uh -uh. I don't, I, I want good things for my daughter. I don't want that for her. How about that right there? About that right there. <laughs> you know, I think there should be some kind of timed event for changing diapers. Like for parents, if they want to get together and compete on the weekends, just... <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you guys for coming to class tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you for having thank us. You. Even though I got tricked into going to diaper class, the guys did the right thing. It, I'm glad that I came. My wife needed me there, and I learned a lot. And spending time with my wife, learning about our child, is so much more than going to play poker with the guys. I'm so glad you came. I am, too. It's a whole lot better than going to poker. You sure? Honestly, it is. <laughs> you should. Love you. Love you. <laughs> you know, if there's one thing that can go wrong during a rodeo, there's a million. You know, there's so many what ifs. I mean, this could be a disaster. What is he yeah. doing? Right, here you go, baby. You can go back home and start eating sugar cubes again. Jamie's coming to pick up her horse. I got this horse really riding around. I think she's coming a long way in the last couple days. What up, Jamie? Hey, Booger. How's she doing? I'm just kind of doing a little exercise right here, sort of keep her riding forward. Forward motion. You got to have forward motion. You know, I've got to coach Jamie on how to ride this horse. That way she won't have any problems. I don't hang on her much. When I first ride her, I really let her go and let her do her thing. About how long are you working her before you ride her every time? About 10 minutes. So you think that she's at the point that I can get on her again, Booger? I sure do. I'd love to try. Get in this round pin and we'll try her out. All Jamie has to do now when she wants to ride is warm that horse up. You get that horse good and warm, she's not going to give you any trouble. Don't be scared of her. I think this mare right here is more nervous than the one you're riding. See how you're just letting her go? Let her do her thing. You're not fighting with her or nothing. She's so much better, Booger. She's like a different horse. You look like you're riding her good. You look good on her. Thank you. Come on, let's go. We'll load that thing up and get out of here. Jamie's got nothing to worry about with this horse. She's doing awesome. Booger, I can't thank you enough for what you've done for us. Well, I'm glad I can help you. What do I owe you? You don't owe me nothing. Hey, maybe sometime you can return the favor. Go home. Thank don't you worry so about much. it. See ya. See ya. Come on, sis. I object. One, two, three, four. I catch it! <laughs> well, we're just about ten minutes away from taking it all off. Are y'all ready for some rodeo action tonight? Huh? Cody's got a good turnout tonight. Oh, sure. Cody has. Yes. Ah. Putting on rodeos is so important to me because it's the only way people can see a timeless tradition. The cowboy way of life isn't something you do, it's who you are as a person. And it's been embedded in our American tradition for a long time. And it's important that somebody keeps it going. This is a great rodeo. I mean, the stands are packed. The competition is top notch. I mean, you, you can't ask for nothing better when you're producing an event. All of a sudden, I hear there's a guy, a calf roper. He, he turned out. He's not going to be able to show it. When you're selling a rodeo to a committee, you have to sell a full performance. Somebody drew out the calf rope. This isn't a good situation because in my contract, it clearly states that I have to fill every event, every performance. And this would hold me one guy shy for the entire rodeo. Well, the rodeo has already started. I mean, it's underway, so I I've got to find somebody to replace this guy. Now, the committee's here. They're expecting a full performance, so I I've got to do something. Oh, we got no Whoa. Oh, hey, 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 Cody. 
I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew he couldn't help himself. I knew he was going to have to get in on the action somehow. I've got to have the show field, so here we go. I'm not going to go back to compete. I want to do it one more time, and that's it. That is it. Hey, here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. I am really a little nervous because, I mean, I, I haven't done this. I know it's like riding a bike. You, you don't forget how to do it, but yes, I could fall on my face. I mean, that's very possible that that could happen, but uh, hopefully instinct will kick in. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Right there, right there, right yes, there. Yes, son, that's what I'm talking on. about. Get it. Come one time, one time. Come on, one time. Come on. One time. Come on. Take the time. Woo! 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 I feel like I've done pretty good. Honestly, it could have been a lot worse. Boy, it felt it felt rough. It felt like my timing was, well, I felt like a monkey trying to ride a basketball. Babe! My wife, oh Lord, I ended up telling what she's gonna think. She has no idea I was gonna do this. I mean, it was a last minute deal. I just need to do it one more time. Now I give you my word. It's, hey, as, as the Bible says. Whatever you wanna do. It is finished. Babe. What just happened? This, this. You have not practiced in a year. Feel, I can feel it, I haven't. How do you feel? I, still haven't. I know, I'm sure, but how do you feel about being back home? I'm not back home. I just You they, were no. just back home. Like somebody drew out last minute. We had to fill the show. Mm -hmm. It was just kind of convenient. He was had the horse here. Just kind of convenient. So when I fell in love with Cody, he was this calf roping cowboy. I mean, up until recently, rodeo was everything to Cody. I know that he has to still miss it. So regardless of what he chooses, I'm 100% behind him. You're positive, like not 100%, like 200% that you are finished with this. Finished, babe. It is finished. I'm worried about you and this little fella. Hey. Or gal, whatever, right. whichever it is. I'll love it either way. You know that. You're, you're certain? I'm certain. Because either way, me and this little one can be in the truck with you wherever you want to go. You don't want to do it? I want to be with y'all at home working on our future. My love okay. you. Love you. See you in a little bit. <laughs>